Ladies and gentlemen, it's that time of the year, the time I've been talking about all of last year, which led up to this moment. We're gonna talk about the best 22 discoveries of 2022. So I tried thousands of fragrances throughout the year. I've shared hundreds of thousands of fragrances with you in 2022. So in this video, I'm gonna actually give you guys the best of what I've tried, the best of what I've discovered. Now, the fragrances I'm about to share with you are not necessary 2022 releases. They're just the first time I encountered these incredible fragrances and they became thus the best discoveries of 2022. So I'm gonna give you 22 fragrances right now. Get comfortable, get a cup of coffee because it's gonna be a rather long video. I'm gonna to try to make it not too long, but you know, all in all, we're gonna go over 22 fragrances. So let's do it. Welcome back to another video, Max here. You know it, you wanna make a great first impression, the way you smell, the way you look, the way you talk, the way you present yourself, all pay a key role to how you're going to make that first impression or that great first impression. But of course, the way you smell is a great way to start. So we're gonna talk about 22 great fragrance discoveries. I'm not gonna to waste too much time, but here's the thing, the little caveat, this is not a countdown video, you know, from the least favorite to the best. These are just great. The only difference here, I'm gonna start with designers and we're gonna move into the niche. So kicking off the list here with this fragrance here that I discovered last year, this is called Zauro Pour Homme Cologne Intense. Now this one here was a great surprise. I believe this was released a couple years ago. Um, completely flew under the radar. I figured, you know, let me pick up a bottle, let me try it. I did a first impression video for you guys. I think this actually made one of the top videos, either spring or summer, of designers. It's an absolutely stunning fragrance because you have citrus, you have a little bit of an aquatic tinge, but it's mostly an aromatic citrus fragrance with a great lavender note in the center. Some mastic notes that gives it resins, which makes it a very unique citrus aromatic scent. Amazing, powerful for a citrus aromatic scent. Highly recommend you guys checking this out, guys. At the 22nd spot, Azaro Per Om Cologne Intense. Don't snooze on this one, this is a cheapy, but definitely great. Speaking of great value proposition, guys, this next one absolutely blew my mind for everything that this fragrance is. Powerful, the uniqueness of the blend. It is just stellar. We're talking Chopard, which is one of those hidden gem kind of brands to begin with. And this is Oud Malachi. Now I've tried, you know, there's a cedar fragrance in this brand that I own. There's a vetiver fragrance brand in this, you know, that I own, which are all great. But Oud Malachi, my God, it is a perfect combination of East meets West. We're talking amber, we're talking resins, we're talking oud, of course, spices. There's a boozy facet here, almost like a, a rum or, or whiskey kind of, a, kind of a nuance. This is great, guys. Long lasting, powerful, exotic. This was cheaper now that I got a little bit of a limelight over the last year or so. The price is starting to rise on this fragrance and it's getting a little hard to find. Don't know if this continues or not because I think you can find this at the website, the Chopard uh, official website, but I think it's 90 bucks if you pick it up retail. But you know, look carefully and you can find this for about 60 bucks or so on a discount side, which I'm telling you, if you do get it for 60 bucks, it's an absolute steal. Now this next one, very powerful, very resinous, very smoky, um, kind of a dark scent, but also wearable at the same time. Compliment inducing, but very, very unique. This is Philip Klein's No Limits. Now this fragrance, again, another one of those hidden gem type scents that really, I was like, wow, what is this? And how come no one's talking about this fragrance? Now this, get this, this is like you fusing Killian's Dark Lord meets Jeremy Fragrances Black Tie. That's correct. It's gonna have nuances of those two fragrances, plus the amber, the patchouli, and some spices in the base. Very powerful, very long lasting, and very seductive juice, guys. Make no mistake, no limits is no joke, guys. Try this, come back here, and thank me. The next two fragrances I'm about to cover with you were absolutely great discoveries I made last year. I wore a lot. They were compliment inducing, really easy to wear, and guess what? Incredibly priced as well. The brand is Baldessarini, which is a subsidiary of Hugo Boss. So Hugo Boss has this brand, which many people don't talk about, but I'm telling you guys, get your nose on some of these Baldessarinis because you'll be able to find a lot of hidden gems as I have. This one's called Nautic Spirit, and by God, this is great. Beautiful looking bottle too. The juice is blue, so it gives it away. It's gonna be kind of like a blue scent, but not really. And here's why. With this fragrance, the opening is just stellar. We're talking mango fruit, we're talking passion fruit, so it's very tropical. You have a little bit of like a sea breeze thing going on, a little bit of lavender, which makes it more masculine, even more mature, if you will. If you really wanna put your best foot forward, this is great for day wear, office, elegant dressing uh, kind of situations. Amazing stuff. I put a little dent on this fragrance. Again, one of my go-tos from the middle of the year up until right now. Um, now it's getting colder, so I'm not really wearing this much, but a staple in my rotation. Definitely gonna make a lot of lists in 2023. Highly recommend you guys checking this out. 
Nautic Spirit. Amazing from Baldi Serena, guys. I'm telling you, this is fire. Next up, this is another kind of a blue fragrance, but with a green undertone. Um, now this one here, I wore almost half of the bottle. Took it on vacation on some trips I made this year. And it's one of those fragrances that I got probably the most compliments within this 22 plus fragrance that I'm showing you today. This is Belle Serenis Signature. I believe it was released a couple years ago, 2021, if I'm not mistaken. This is going to resemble Creed Aventus, of course. I'm gonna tell you right off the bat. However, it's going to be a muskier and greener kind of a Creed Aventus. I love the vetiver here, the cypress note, the oak moss, the patchouli. Gives the fragrance a very nice, well-rounded green kind of a facet along with the fruitiness that you get with the Ventus. Although there's no pineapple here, but you do have a green apple note. This is a compliment beast, I'm telling you. Lasts quite a while too, and if you, pray, if you spray your clothes like I do, it's gonna last even longer. And I'm telling you, if you want for compliments, if you like fragrances that are easy to wear, just pick up and smell amazing, all this Serena Signature will deliver, and again, very affordable. Now, I'm not one for a copy. I just shared, you know, just, just now shared a fragrance that resembles Aventus, but has different nuances. That's okay for me if you take a profile that you love, but as a company, you produce something, you know, very good, equally as good, if not better. That's what we got with this next one here from Alhambra. This is going to be Kismet for men. Now, this is one fragrance that I also did a first impression. I think it also made my top winter uh, designers this year. This is heavenly, guys. This is going to be Straight to Heaven by Killian Meats Tuxedo by YSL. So it's gonna be that fruity patchouli with that boozy nuance. Just very cozy, very seductive, very romantic. One of those scents when you really want to turn heads, look for this one, guys. It's gonna be incredible. Like I said, YSL's Tuxedo meets Killian Straight to Heaven. Both fragrances amazing on their own. Put them together right here. Now this one here from the house of Tussardi, which is another one of those brands, just like Baldessarini, just like Insimiaki, Cartier, it's one of those brands that you'll always find those hidden gems. And this to me, the best from the line, one that you must seek, because if you have your taste similar to mine, if you like fragrances that, you know, give you the edge, make a statement, this is a statement making fragrance. This is Tussardi's Umber Oud. Now Umber Oud, is going to be exactly what, you, what you're getting here in the name. Lots of ambers, lots of ouds with a gourmand touch and an instancy touch. This is a little bit animalic, a little bit smoky, a little bit resinous, but with that gourmandy facet along with the smokiness and the resins makes for a stellar fragrance. This is quite similar to Ember Oud from Roja Parfums, which you know it's a very expensive, hundreds of dollars a type of fragrance. It's gonna have a little bit of that particular DNA with the added facets of the gourmand caramelized vanilla that you get in the base here with the woods, the patchouli, the resins, a little bit of boozy effect as well. It's a magical juice for those occasions that, you know, romantic, nightwear, nighttime, dress your, you know, evening time. I think this is where this fragrance shines the most. I would even say great for Valentine's Day coming up ahead, guys. Track this out, Tristardi Umbaud. Not very easy to find, but definitely when you do find, incredible for what it is and for the price, you gotta get it. Great to have in your wardrobe. Next up, a designer brand that has released a private blend of sorts over the last couple of years. I think this private blend started in 2020, 2021. And by gosh, they did a phenomenal job. They took different notes that I appreciate in perfumeries such as tobacco and made different private blend versions of that tobacco. This one here is called Tobacco Blonde from the House of Karom. This was released in 2020 or 2021. Um, and this fragrance, ladies and gentlemen, is exactly what the 1919, 1919, back you know, 1900s, they had this, this fragrance. So it's gonna have a very old world quality to it, animalistic, wild honey, powdery facets, oak moss, vetiver. If you don't like old world powerful fragrances, you're not gonna like this. There's a little floral aspect here with rose and jasmine as well. I love this stuff. This is classy through and through, and it has that old world, uh, you know, refined that I appreciate in perfumery. Definitely a great scent. In fact, the Zocaron line, there's a whole bunch of different tobacco ones that I shared here over last year. You guys should definitely check it out. And there's also a Vetiver Infinite that they have within this line that I'm dying to try. But this is a line that I highly recommend in the designer side of things that is a hidden gem under the radar line that people aren't talking about that is powerful, great smelling, and very refined. Check out this line, and especially if you have, you know, a taste similar to mine, Tabac Blonde is a classic, traditional beast that if you don't have in your collection the original, this is a great, you know, alternative to that fragrance. The last one here from the designer side of things is one that you must acquire. If you like what you hear, I think for the money, for the performance, the smell, 
It is unbeatable. That's why I left it for the last year because it was one that really blew my mind and I was surprised that I haven't tried it because I believe this was released in 2016. This is from Roberto Cavalli. This is Roberto Cavalli Uomo. Now, this fragrance, ladies and gentlemen, is going to be, picture this, Yves Saint Laurent's La Nuit de L'Homme meets Bleu Noir Parfum from Narcisa Rodriguez. Both great fragrances, this amazing. What I get out of this fragrance, guys, is a fruity patchouli with woods in the base, a little bit of a vetiver, some incense and, or musky notes. This is smoky, it's resinous, it's a little bit boozy, very appealing, very romantic. Like the bottle is dark, so it's great for, I think, evening wear, romantic settings, date occasions. Another one from all the, the 22 here that I would must definitely consider for nightwear or romantic settings. Valentine's coming up soon. Guys, look at this one. Again, come back here and thank me because this is a compliment beast. People are not going to be able to get enough of you. Not, you're not going to be able to get enough of yourself. Roberto Cavalli Uomo, a great hidden gem. It's affordable, long lasting and incredibly smelling. As you guys know, on the channel here, I always like to give you really under the radar, hard to find, uh, different, unique, exotic fragrances because I don't want you to smell like everybody else. That's not what the channel is all about. Of course, if you wear, you know, Blue de Chanel, if you wear Old Sauvage or Aventus, any of those top selling fragrances, you're gonna smell great, you're gonna get compliments, it's gonna do the job. However, if you're looking for something unique to get that first impression, uh, you know, different than other people, if you wanna have something that stand out, it's gonna be you, something that's really gonna evoke who you are, Guys, this is what we do here. I always like to bring you guys different, unique things, just like we do here with this discoveries that we do throughout the year. And at the end of the year, I give you guys all the bass in one video, just like what we're doing today. And you can actually get probably all of the designers that just shared with you at fragranceby.ca, which is the partner of the channel. I'm gonna link them below for you, make your life easier, which is what we do here. If there's any codes or anything for you guys, as always, it's going to be linked in the description of the video to make your life easier. Now we're gonna hop into the niche fragrances. Uh, there's a little bit more, of course, niche is always something that kind of has more of a unique taste, better ingredients for the most part, not always, uh, but the price is going to be a little higher. So we're going to hop into them right now. We're going to open this list here with a freaking brand that just blew my mind at hello. Everything I tried from this brand was unique, exotic, different, powerful. I mean, the bottle itself is like a piece of rock and this is going to be Black Lift. This is Mr. Pink. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Pink is a beast that could have well be called, you know, the pink beast. And what this is, is pink, picture this, pink cotton candy, vanilla, smoky vanilla with a whole bunch of incense and dark Kate oil kind of notes. Just an absolute beast. This is like tar, you know, smoky cotton candy vanilla infused with a ton of smoke. It's a simple way to talk about this. Not gonna be for everyone as a lot of these, you know, unique, more niche kind of scents will be very um, distinct and very refined, but also very daring at times and almost mysterious such as this fragrance. So it's not gonna be for everyone. These, you know, niche discoveries I made last year, I think the best way to describe them is the way I describe them here and I'll compare them to if they remind me of some fragrances, but I'd never tell you guys to go and blind buy it. You can do it on your own. If you like what you hear, if your taste is similar to mine, you go ahead and blind buy it. But I think the best way to do with these fragrances is actually try them on skin, get a sample, live with it, see if you love it because a lot of them are very daring, such as Mr. Pink. But I love this stuff as it warms up with my body, as it dries down. My God, this stuff is absolutely amazing. Simply put Mr. Pink, a beast of a fragrance and very, very unique. Check this out. Black Lift as a whole is a great brand to try. Like I said, one of my best. This is one of my best discoveries of last year and the brand itself is also one of my best discoveries of last year. Now, you guys know how much I love the house of Serzhov. It's a brand that I've been following since 2009, 2010. And this fragrance here is one that really blew my mind. It's a partnership with rock star Tony Iommi from Black Sabbath with Serzhov. Sergio Momo and Tony Iommi, along with Chris Carbonell, put together a absolutely stunning juice called Iommi Monkey Special. This is the Monkey Special. There's a, another more limited version of this fragrance, but this is all you need, guys. This is going to be a caramelized patchouli with rum, dried fruits. It is just stellar. It reminds me of Intoxicated by Killian with a little bit of uh, Angel for Man, you know, the old school Angel. It is just that great free patchouli boozy. Uh, you can even add like some pure malt in there because it's going to have some of those boozy nuances. This is, this is an amazing fragrance. This is a showstopper of a fragrance, guys. Simple as that. One of the best releases. I think this is from 2021, but I'm telling you guys, if you want something stellar and, and just showstopping of a fragrance, look no further, guys. This will definitely do the job. Next up, another brand that I discovered last year, and this one here has been a couple years old, I think, since this fragrance was released. 
The brand is incredible, guys. I've tried at least three fragrances that I loved about this particular house, but this one here really took my breath away. And as I wore this more and more, the more I wore it, the more I loved it. And this is gonna be a combination between cloves, cypress, which I love, and leather. We're talking Virtus, and this is Monarch. Now, this is one that I shared with you quite a bit last year, and I'm telling you right now, if you love leather scents, but you want something unique, a little bit powdery, a little bit resinous, just a different fruity and juicy kind of a take that's a little bit resinous and even animalic, you know, with leather, guys, this is definitely gonna rock your world. It's rocked mine, glad to share with you. Definitely one of the best discoveries of last year. And check this brand, check Virtus, because Virtus Paris is a, friend, is a fragrance brand that I think a lot of people are sleeping. You, know, you guys are sleeping on this brand. They have some incredible, long-lasting, powerful juices that are very unique and exotic, such as Monarch. Now get ready for a beast mode type of a fragrance. If you love tobacco the way I do, leather, boozy spices, this is a very natural smelling Maduro tobacco scent, like a cigar, with all those nuances that I'm talking about. The boozy rum, uh, the spicy leather. It is very long lasting, very powerful. However, you have a little vanilla uh, bourbon in the base that will you know, calm things down a bit, but this is a very powerful juice to the sense that don't even spray your clothes because it will, this will stain. Uh, long lasting, you don't need more than two sprays. It's gonna be a beast type of, type of tobacco from Les Indemodables from France. This is Vanille Ravon. Antoine Lee is the actual perfumer here. And ladies and gentlemen, this is a very natural tobacco with notes of cacao. So it has a little bit of a gourmand facet, but it's a very animalistic, powerful, rendition of tobacco. It smells like a million bucks. I dare any of you watching this video that loves the note of tobacco not to fall in love with this fragrance. It's that simple. That, that, that cocoa creaminess with the Maduro cigar combination is just absolutely heavenly is the one word to describe this. This is heavenly. Next fragrance here is one that is just so powerful, so beastly, and so intoxicating, inviting. I mean, all the adjectives apply here. I love this fragrance. To me, it's like if you took, added to the extreme from our money, which is a tobacco-based scent, long gone and discontinued, add a little bit of angel man and some other elements here, you know, like spicy patchouli, leather, tobacco. This is a beast of a fragrance, incredibly smelling. You're gonna smell like no one and you're gonna draw tremendous attention for the power and long lasting of this fragrance. This is from Moresque which is an Italian brand from the secret collection that is called Sobatique. Shout out to Chris from Beach Sidebar in San Pete, which I visited. Also shout out to Cubano, both love this fragrance. In fact, Cuba talked about this fragrance on his channel as well. I spoke about this fragrance earlier last year. Sobatique, ladies and gentlemen, is going to be this incredible tobacco, spices, leather, patchouli scent that is just very inviting. It's just something else. There's nothing that smells quite like this. Like I said, the best way to describe this, if you took you know, that attitude extreme from our money that's been discontinued, which is a tobacco heavy scent with the spices and patchouli. And you added some amber, some other spices and creamy sandalwood in the base. This is a beast fragrance that if you love those notes, leather, tobacco, patchouli, spices, you're gonna love this. There's no two ways about it. And the fact that this is powerful and long lasting, it's just a plus to the amazing fragrance that is Sobatique. Don't sleep on this one, guys. I'm telling you, amazing. Next up, a fragrance brand that I discovered because it was one of the brands featured at Scent Explorer 2022. And I love the fact that a lot of these brands, I have the opportunity, like thousands of you watching this video, to discover with Scent Explorer. It gives me the opportunity to find under the radar, smaller niche brands that are very quality, but don't have an outlet to speak and, and have their fragrances heard or tried, um, if you will. So this is from the House of Masi, it's called Into Me. I love this stuff. You're gonna have some florals here like jasmine, rose. You have a watermelon note, a ginger note. It's a very nice woody dry down as well. This is a very compliment, fruity, aromatic, inducing type scent. This is going to definitely draw people. In fact, I love what the brand stands for. Shamaka, which is the founder and CEO of this brand, she has incredible values and morals. You know, I had a great time meeting her. And from what I understood, the brand is kind of like rebranding, restructuring, but I'm very curious to see what the future will bring from the house of Masi because I think there's a lot of great things on their way. So guys, keep your, your ears and your noses tuned into Masi because from what I've tried so far, it's definitely quality and what's to come is definitely very intriguing to say the least. Next up, a brand that needs no introduction. I've spoken about this brand for years here on the channel. We know they do quality, they do power, but this fragrance here I came to discover last year and I'm glad I did because I have never tried this one. It was kind of like one of those very high priced, very high ticketed kind of fragrance that kind of, you know, uh, 
pushed me away, but I was like, you know what? I'm gonna pull the trigger because I think it sounds incredible. Dried fruits, whiskey, patchouli, resins. This is going to be Nishanae's Nefs. Absolutely gorgeous juice, guys. Long lasting, powerful, boozy scent with dried fruits, patchouli, resins, and absolutely stunning is the word here, stellar. Just an absolutely incredible fragrance. A little bit of animalistic undertones as well. So it's gonna be one of those that you have to try on skin to make sure you love it. But with me, you know, when it has the whiskey, the leather, the resins, it's like I'm halfway there. This one here had me a hello. Love the resinous smoky facet of this leather. It is amazing with that whiskey. You can't beat it, guys. Nefs, one of those standout type scents that no one's gonna smell like you. Simple as that. Next up is going to be a very traditional genre and classification and fragrances made by a brand that's up and coming. And the perfumer here, uh, Michael Salazar, was actually named one of the top up and coming perfumers of last year of the award for Scent Explore People's Choice Award. And the fragrance I'm talking about is Fatal Fougere, Fatal Fougere from Aloma de Sarazar. This is a green scent. And what I love about this, he took this incredible classy genre and he blended in a way that's so incredibly well put together. We got floral notes here like jasmine, rose, and I think ylang ylang. You have these almost eucalyptus kind of a vibe, which gives this, you know, smoky kind of, a, almost like what you've gotten with Eau Givre from Armaz, which I didn't really like, but with greener undertones like the oak moss, the lavender, the green lavender, and of course the vetiver here. This is a standout type of a scent, very classy, very refined, very mature. If you love the Fougere classification and fragrances, this is a must. No two ways about it, guys. Aromas de Salazar, Fatal Fougere is just incredible. This fragrance, I think from the half part of last year, was something that I wore almost daily. I fell in love with this fragrance. The House of Mise en Serre, which is Alberto Murillo's uh, house, or Morillas, I should say in Spanish. This is his actual private blend, so to speak, and this is going to be Blue Gin. Think about Sapphire Gin, you know, Bombay. That is what you're gonna get here, a ton of juniper berries. It's a gin, and, it's a peppery gin and tonic type scent. You're gonna have some woody notes, some green woody notes in the base with a very peppery, sparkly, and spicy gin and tonic up top. That's simple, that's the easiest way to describe this. Compliment monster type scent, very classy, very well put together, very made to measure type of scent. If you want something easy to wear or as a signature scent, guys, check out Blue Gin, you're gonna love it. Speaking of another brand, just like I talked about Masi, that's rebranding, restructuring, we're gonna talk about, about a brand that I really delved into it last year. I went to an event where this gentleman was part of the event and really talked about his fragrance collection. And now I'm very curious to see what's to come because again, he's rebranding, uh, restructuring a lot of the, uh, not only the bottle designs, but also the juices themselves. But this one here, I really, really hope he keeps it in the collection because I love it. And this is called Forbidden and it's from Aaron Terrence Hughes. Now this is going to be rum, dark chocolate, oud, leather, spices. A lot of the notes that I come to love the red here that describes this fragrance, and it's very fruity, very chocolatey, very dark, very seductive, and very romantic juice. I think it's great. Another one great for romantic settings, nightwear, or Valentine's Day up ahead, with the dark chocolate and the notes that I talked about here. This is just amazing, guys. It's gonna be one of those that's gonna draw people in, and they're not gonna get enough if you get my drift. Forbidden, please, Aaron, if you're listening, don't ax this juice because it is just, Amazing, heavenly juice right here. Next up, we have a fragrance that is a leather-based fragrance with green apple, patchouli, and sandalwood. So it's gonna be creamy, leathery, and fruity. This is going to be B683 from La Canton Barrois, but this is the extra composition that I discovered last year. Golden bottle, golden juice, guys. This is gonna make you smell like a million bucks, but I have to warn you though, it is powerful, and it is an animalistic note here of cumin. So if you don't like, Oh, it smells so good though. But it, like I said, in some skins, this might turn more animalistic than other skins. It depends on your body chemistry. So I said in the beginning, I'm gonna say it again, try it before you buy it because you may love it like I do, but you may hate it. One man's treasure is another man's trash or vice versa. But B683 straight to me is a great fruity leather fragrance that is just heavenly guys. But try it, try it before you buy it. And if you wanna do that, you could do that with all the fragrances that I mentioned here. I'm gonna list them below. And of course you can try them before you buy it with the partner of the channel, perfume.com. There's a code going on right now, only good for the next 
48 hours from the time you're watching this video, which is max 20, which will give you guys 20% off site-wide. Details below, enjoy. I have two more fragrances to share with you and finish the video, but before I do that, you know, I've done 20 fragrances right now, and I want you guys to pause the video right now and answer me this one question. Let me know in the comments, what were your favorite discovery in the world of perfumery in 2022? Please, whether it be designer, niche, I don't care, one, two, 10, I don't care how many fragrances, just pause the video, let me know, because I might find something new myself that you guys are sharing with me. So please do that before we continue. But the 21st fragrance that I'm about to show you is another one of those brands that I discovered at Scent Explore, and I absolutely love the brand. This is going to be Blend Oud, and this is called Sana. Now, Sana is going to be a gourmand citrus fragrance that has this blood orange with rum, spices, and drizzled by caramel and gorgeous patchouli and woods in the base. Outstanding fragrance. To give you a little bit of an idea what this smells like, this is similar to Serjoff's Casa Marati Lira, but the difference here is the lavender that this fragrance has in the middle, which gives this more, I find Lyra to be a little bit, I mean, they're both androgynous, unisex, you know, gender-free, whatever you want to call it, but I find Lyra a little bit leaning more feminine. This one here, Sun, I find it to be a little more masculine because of that lavender infusion in the heart. Needless to say, guys, this is an incredible juice that's gonna really make you stand out from the crowd, period. The last fragrance I'm about to share with you is one that has a very special place in my heart because every year with every Scent Explore edition, I was always able to find that highlight brand, a new brand that's something that really sparked my interest to a whole different gate of opportunities when it comes to different smells, different aromas that are daring, you know, special, exotic, unique, and very creative. Uh, Agra to Parfums was one of the brands. Uh, Precious Liquid was another one. There's always that one brand that stands out every year. This one here, definitely the most standout newcomer in my collection. Absolutely in love with the brand. This is Premier Perfumes Quate, and the fragrance we're about to talk about here is Pirates. Now, Pirates will have all those facets that you're probably thinking of that will make it for a pirate because it was inspired by the pirate kind of uh, habitat. We're talking aged spicy rum. We're talking lots of green nuances from oak moss, cypress, you know, fern. This is from the original line, not from the private blend, which I talked about heavily here on the channel, but by gosh, this is incredible. We're talking a spicy aged rum that's gonna greet you at hello along with powder. All these elements that you think of a pirate will be infused in this fragrance. Definitely one of the most captivating juices in this collection of 22 fragrances that I shared with you. If you love spicy, boozy, frankincense there's definitely a lot of smoky here as well because of the powder uh you know note that i'm talking about it is absolutely powerful long lasting unique exotic pirates to the t guys check this out very intriguing juice and it's definitely going to turn heads whatever you walk this is so powerful that when you walk into a room people are going to know you're there and when you leave they're going to know you were there that simple, guys. Pirates is like a separate entity. Incredible juice right here. This 20 second um, fragrance rendition of the best releases, or should I say scratch that, the best discoveries I made in 2022. Like I said before, let me know in the comments, guys, which were your favorite discoveries you made in 22 uh, that just blew your mind. Let me please share them in the comments. I'd love to read them. And of course, as always, guys, thank you so much for your support. Check the description of the videos. I always leave some really, um, good information for you that's pertinent to savings, to knowledge, anything that you need to know to stay in the know with the fragrance world, I try to keep it in the comments and of course in the description of the video to make your life easier. As always, thank you so much for your support. Leave a like if you haven't already. It doesn't take long. Half a second makes my day. Of course, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And as always, guys, wear your fragrance as well and really put your best foot forward in 2023. Stay tuned for a lot more content coming your way. And as always, I'll see you guys right here in the next one. Take care.